Welcome back, my citizens of Carthage, to another to another chronicle of Rome Total War 2. So guys, I've been reading over the comments, and basically guys, I'm goofed up. Roy royally. Almost to the point of unsalvageability. Unsal I mean, we are at war with practically the known world as we know it. I mean, diplomacy-wise, we're at war with all this, and I thought I could handle it, I thought I could like power through this and be the mighty Carthaginian Empire, but it's proving to be just slightly bit too great for us. So we're gonna have to start finding peace with people, otherwise we're going to start having problems. Okay? So what I'm gonna try to do this episode is try to find peace with people that would want peace. Now, so people I think that would want peace are the of the Romans. Greetings in the name of the Republic and so forth. Now, what do you want? Don't be such a snoobist dude, dude. I mean, expansion is steadfast. Okay, I have really good, I have really good reputation, but yet you don't. I don't trust you at all, but I have to get out of this war. I'm starting to get really war torn. Okay, let's see. So yeah, basically what happened guys last time was the fact that we, um, when I was trying to click on other provinces like the Etruscan League, I was just keeping up with Rome. So, what I'm gonna have to figure out is how do you actually? Okay, this is how you actually switch between between people. Oh, we found Egypt now. Hey, Egypt, would you like a Come, trade alliance? Noble visitor, sit and ease your worries. Why am I speaking with the humble servant of? Okay, sure. Okay, that was weird. An entire program just in, just like shut down my computer, and so I had to reload and do all this again. So yeah, um, basically, I'm trying to. While well, I'm also trying to do some more uh, get out to war stuff, I'm also trying to get more alliance stuff. Egypt does not like us at all. In fact, they are confident and devious. That means they don't like us, and they really don't think of us. But seriously, we have to. Um, I'm seriously not joking with you, people. We really gotta, you know, start. Start getting out of some of these wars because we are way too tied down. So maybe these guys, the Avetisi, will want. No, wait, these guys aren't at war with us yet, but they are pretty much angry at us. Okay, well, the gold to lie. I'm not sure if these guys are treacherous. Well, yeah, almost everyone in this Before game is like idiots. Know that I have an amulet. Okay, so you guys would not want peace. See, that's what I don't get. Is I took most of their regions. In fact, I took their main region and took most of their holdings, and they don't want peace. How do you guys even live? <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, Syracuse might want Be welcome peace. And may let's see, let's just go down the list. I'll go, I'll go see if I'll go down the list with everyone and see if anyone would want peace. And I mean a cheap peace, because I ain't paying, I ain't paying that much for peace. I could still, slowly and I may uh, okay. your tongue to the dogs. you I have to get out of the war. You are becoming a pain in the butt to fight. Like, seriously. Oh my goodness, yeah, but I'm just, it's because I'm not strong enough right now. Yeah. Alright, yeah, it seems like no one wants peace. Um, let's see. The Nabatomes are the last people I have not tried yet. Defensive and unreliable. Why is everyone, Be no one is trustworthy in this game, I swear. Now speak as you will, and okay. try to be How about a non-aggression pact? Don't you dare speak, lady. <laughs> right now, I'm dealing with some diplomatic stuff going on here. Okay, uh, I'll pay you guys. No, offer a payment of. Would they be happy with 2,000 bucks? Still no? Oh, okay, okay. Hypothetically speaking, what would it take to get a peace treaty with you guys? Declare war on. <laughs> Why not? Let's get that. Would you guys accept that? No. Is this like, ah, oh, dang it. Is this like that stupid AI back, man, they really, they really gotta fix this. Cause I'm getting sick and tired of it. And this is what I mean by, this is where, this is where if you're judging Victoria, if you're judging like EU3 games, or not EU3, Paradox games versus Creative Assembly games, is that on one side, Paradox games have a much more complex diplomatic screen, which makes it very hard for, di for diplomacy to happen. But at least the AI knows when it's beaten. 
In this game, it does not seem whenever you try to get peace with them, they don't seem like they ever want to be beaten. And yes, I am getting destroyed right now. And yes, I know I am getting destroyed. But this has been a constant problem from the very beginning of all Creative Assembly games. They just... I don't know what it is. The AI is just not smart. <laughs> just flatly put, not smart. Okay, and then there's an army right here of Carthaginians that are retreating we from our devastatingly them, bad defeat at here. We are just not looking good. That's all I gotta say. The next, if there is one more war, guys, I'm seriously not gonna enter it. I'm just gonna be like, nope, you guys, you guys are on your own. I'm done. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, one more war and I'm done. I'm not going back to this anymore. Okay, let's see. A sabotage. Why not? Let's go poison some things. A uh, poison wells. Units can't completely be destroyed by garrison arson. Just single destruction. Inside, uh, 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 let's go poison. I like the poison idea. Come on, is it gonna work? Oh my goodness, wow. Yeah, just not in good luck today. Alright, anyways, though, what I'm gonna start doing is building up my next army. Um, last, okay, no, no. Build up one more. I'm gonna try to keep an average, an average army of about four slingers. Okay. Next, we have to start thinking about our defense. Because right now, we are in a dire situation over here where we have mostly tons of these guys coming after us from all directions. Tons of those guys coming after us from all directions. Luckily, these two guys are not friendly to each other. At least, that's what I hope will happen. So that, let's see. Ye they are not friendly towards each other. So what I'm hoping will happen is that there's going to be some kind of border friction right here. And we can just scoop in and go steal whatever. Alright, over here though. Oh, this was the last guy I didn't ask if he wanted peace. Probably not Before secret you say anything, me. No Yep, okay. Now we got that out of the way. Um We have to like we have to seriously start thinking about defense, but and it becomes a matter of should I try to protect this village or not? As much as I like having the fact that we destroyed a village and we know we we did a good stab at the stupid these guys. We're also kind of draining our forces at a very rapid rate. Oh, Just all the resolve. It's not really, this. I'm sorry, guys. If you guys want to see this battle, it's not really. It's not really worth it. Really? Okay. Who do we have? Enemies captured. 91. Kill them all. I don't really care. Just make sure they don't come back. All right. You get to general. So Hannibal just leveled up a little bit. Let's see. What do we want? Two to authority. When admiral. Uh, my mother, yeah, they should have planned this much better. <laughs> Let's go with general, though, because general seems like something that I would definitely have. I mean, look at that. Two, two to authority, and this guy is, I mean, this guy's going to be my, like, major authority guy. Is that what I'm kind of aiming for? Yeah, he's going to be, like, my major authority guy. He's going to keep order in all these stupid cities of mine. All right, next thing we have to deal with is like I said so defensive mechanisms is we have three fronts potentially to deal with we have a gigantic Roman front we have a gigantic over here front speaking of which we might as well send our ships over here okay where's our ships right over here oh yeah they're just about to attack next turn so that's what we're gonna have to deal with once we deal with all that cuz we basically have the Spain front we have the Sicilian front and basically Italian front and then we have this front um if worse comes to worse, I'll retreat from this front. Because I don't really need this. I don't really need this city. I do need this city, and it would be kind of wise to take this city because now it's uncontrolled by my vassals. And, you know, I could definitely steal it, but... Yeah. If worse comes to worse, I'll abandon this front and just leave. Because it's also more soldiers, which is going to annoy me. Um, over here... I think with this front, what I'm going to do is just kind of ignore orders. what's ever going to happen. How can I serve it sounds like a terrible idea, but it's the only way It's the only way we're going to do this, because we cannot... I don't think we're strong enough to attack these guys. We're going to have to start dealing with some of our other enemies before we can start doing anything else. That's something I should have done in the beginning, but I was way too stupid, and I just kept accepting all these wars. Now we really got to buckle down and tighten up our grip. Okay? Okay. Break, everyone! <laughs> So now we wait for the very long loading screens. Rome's probably going to take this back. I mean, I don't know why they end up 
while the Etruscan League did not try to attack Rome directly. They should have attacked Rome directly if they wanted to, you know, win something, but instead, it didn't. War! We will make your homes a wasteland, despoil your women, enslave your children, and desecrate your ancestors' graves. You guys are quite, quite bloodthirsty. No, I'm not going to have my allies join in. And this is where... Now, this is where the AI is smart. They know I'm being attacked by so many fronts, I cannot deal with it. But the good thing is that the AI... So, the AI is pretty stupid at the same time. But yeah, I'm getting pretty much boggled down by everyone. This is... This is like the slow... This is also another thing that was about the diplomatic system. Is that once one person declares war on you in total war... And you've had that war long enough, everyone starts to declare war on you. It doesn't matter if you're friendly, or evil, or nice, or anything. Everyone... Oh shoot, that army is actually heading towards me. That army might actually threaten my sovereignty. Uh, my other army's still healing down there in, in the other place. Okay, I'm gonna have to deal with that. But yeah, I don't want... Yeah, it was just something stupid that's always kind of happened. And it's kind of always annoyed me. Is that when you get one declare war on you, everyone declares war on you instantly. It's like... Yeah, we're gonna instantly go stab you in the bag. Oh my goodness. Okay, but right now I have my big gigantic cartridge fleet. We're gonna go take down anyone that's over here. Okay, yeah, there they go. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, Spain might be lost. I'm almost betting Spain is about to be lost. Martial priorities. As your enemy gains strength, it's important to do well balanced army. With this in mind, what kind of training would you like your like your like to focus on? Infantry, cavalry. Or navy. Uh, a strong. Oh, come on. We need a strong, a strong cavalry or strong navy. Oh shoot. Yeah, we didn't do that very well. Um. Yeah. Oh my goodness. We have much people attacking us. Anyways. Yeah. We have many, many difficulties. It seems like an army is finally coming to try to destroy me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ready yeah, it's battle. not going to be strong enough to attack me, especially target? if I move out this guy, move you in this guy. Yeah, they're not going to—they're not going to be strong enough to attack me, and Lord, most likely I'll be able to destroy them pretty quickly, especially if I build Lord, one more unit. That should be enough to fight against whatever force they're going to bring. Over here, these guys should be fine in attacking, and then over here, I'm gonna go help destroy some of these stupid sieges so that we can get our vassals back into production. Just all resolve it, kill everyone. I'm not leaving one survivor. There we go. Thank you. So yeah, we're just cleaning up the sheet, the seas over here, and yep, just kill the captives. <laughs> I'm so I so I be so mean to these guys. I am so I am so dumb with this. Like. I'm so done with like being nice to them. Well, I guess it was never really nice. I always killed them, but I'm just done trying to be like, yeah, we should release them. We should be kind. We should be all this. We should be all no. We should definitely exterminate them all from the face of the being. <laughs> and that's the way I guess you have to be with with Rome Total Wars. You have to be very, very uh, angry. Uh, not angry. I guess would be the word. Very militaristic. If for some reason I don't see the where are the soldiers. Enemy transports led by Augustine. Hmm. The good thing about Syracuse is that all I'd have to do to win that city is I just have to conquer it. I wouldn't have to, like, do much to battle it. But I need to know how many soldiers they have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They have 10 soldiers. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Not quite enough to take a city. Not even if I did my lucky street. Okay, if I did this, this should be enough, though. Once we build up this army, that should be enough to fight them. Which will give us a major advantage at that point. So we need, a, we need to get some advantages going. Over here, okay. I have a enemy warlord, whatever. He's scouting out my region. I'm going to finally dismantle these because this is... This is actually not what we need. We need to start actually building... Uh, Convert, dismantle to a homeless to polis. Oh, dang, that's costing too much. All right, well, I'll just keep this right here. Um, next turn I'll be able to improve movement speed. Whatever. Um, next turn I'll actually be able to do stuff like that. And now that we are done with that, 
we are done with um, improving some of our buildings in the city of um, Garmana. I'm going to sit back and relax. <laughs> and hope my vassals will not die from the soon-to-be horde that is moving into our country. Oh my goodness. And then over here, I'm going to... Yeah, this is the front I'm really going to have to... I'm focusing in on. Because this is the only front that seems to be going slightly in my favor. So, you know what? Let's focus on this. Okay, we're going to save up our money just in case if something goes wrong. Rome seems to be wanting to do a lot of destruction. They really want to destroy Neopolis. Which is fine by me. I mean, I really don't care. I did not see why these guys didn't just take Rome. Rome would have probably been the better target to the beginning. Like I pointed out, to the beginning, Rome would have been a better target. But they went after that other stupid city instead. So, what does that tell you about the what does that tell you about the Thruskin League? They are quite stupid in some of their uh, practices, which we have to deal with, and uh, man, I, I regret ever having that Whoa. oh my goodness, is there a nut calling his war. Really? Are you kidding me? Give me the class of swords, oh not the cracking tongue. Whatever. Yeah, we're all unreliable expansionists. I get it. Oh my goodness. When they said hard on this stupid campaign, they literally meant, like, it is almost nigh impossible to fight this. Um. Oh my goodness. Reinforcements are very probable, but... Gosh, dang it. Okay, guys, this is gonna probably be a battle for today. And I'll see you guys on the... Okay, guys, welcome to the battlefield. So, guys, yeah, if you guys don't know what's happening, we are basically defending against this really really obscene siege we're basically that army over there that one over there is attacking me um advantages to what I have though is that the only way they can attack me is right through here the only way I mean there is only one way they can attack me and that's through here because they can't get through because of their the way to set up they can't get through the walls because they just can't. So the only way they're going to have to attack me is they're going to have to be right here. Which, as you guys know, I'm pretty good about attacking people on land. Due to our last battle against Syracuse, I'm pretty much good with attacking on land. So basically my entire defense is going to be mandatory to right here. Um, I don't care about the rest of this. This doesn't really matter. If any soldiers do arrive to come and save me, that would be great. So we also have some um, ships over here that are completely useless. I'm going to put them in my harbor and then unload them and then we're going to have them join our ranks over here and trying to attack. Because as you guys know, the actual ships, like if you're actually doing real ship battles and you do just the ships, they're useless. Like ships are useless compared to transport units, which I don't get that, but it's the truth. So anyways, let's start the battle finally. Enough of my ramblings. Let's go right here. Okay, you guys land right there. Plus, if I do this, it kind of prevents them from from uh, doing stuff. Enemy reinforcements are approaching. Like, what are they gonna do? <laughs> like, honestly, what the heck are they? Well, actually, they could they actually? Let's see. No, you cannot get through that. Yeah. So, what are they gonna do? Like. These men over here are completely stranded. They can't really do much. Like, in all honesty, you would have to wait for their ships to go in and start doing stuff. So, I'm not really scared of them. In, in, in obvious tone, I'm not really scared of them. Okay. Anyways, though. So, yeah, if we just have our troops, like, set up right here... This is going to be like the perfect position. I mean, this is going to be like the perfect bottleneck. And this is like a really stupid decision on the AI's part. They should have like had more siege time before they did this. Because now I'm just going to just gonna make sure they do not get aboard. So let's see. Let's go right here. Let's go right here. Let's just take all you guys. You guys are all going... Oh, whoops. 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 Let me switch my angle. Switch my angle. There we go. Alright. Let's just... Now that I've done this... Oh, this works. Oh, no, wait, that does not work. Please turn your heads around. Do not, not face the ocean. I know you guys are trying to be intimidating, but that's just stupid. Go, there we go. Alright. Okay. And I'll do my favorite formation, which is the square. Square formation. Which is probably one of the best forms in this game. And with that... 
they're not gonna get through. The gods I'm pretty dang sure these guys are not gonna be able to get through my lines. Um, let's see, I have my mob back here. I should probably put my mob, like, right about here. Um, what I'm gonna do is actually do some rearranging. Put my army right here. Okay, that better not, oh, and that better not be a way inside my city, because that would just be complete and another, like, BS right there. So, let's see. I'm still worried about this over here, so, yeah. Um... Just in case, if they can somehow, some way, get through my men right there. Let's see. No, no, I think that, yeah, I think, honestly. What? They're not going inside the bay? How are they gonna get inside? Okay, I'm pretty dang sure. No. I am not sure anymore if they can get inside here. Because it'd be the only way they can get inside my port. I mean, logically, you should be able to. I mean, there is a little tiny opening, but... Uh, in game practice, that does not work. We'll see. But just in case if they can, I'm going to stick kind of a reserve force right here, I guess. Just to be sure. Then you guys will just fire off missiles as much as possible. Okay, I think we're good. So now we can just like fast forward and wait for the AI to make their either good decisions or bad decisions. Most likely bad, though. <laughs> Because they're not even doing the siege right. The only way they could do it is that they'd have to attack me. They don't have any ladders. They don't have anything. What the heck are they doing? They're just going to get fight. Like, what are they doing? What the heck are they doing? Oh, my goodness. Okay, you guys just run up to the walls, please. I want to get there as soon as possible. I just want to be firing at these guys. What the heck are you guys doing? <gasps> what? No! I didn't even know that was a possibility. Oh, shoot. I didn't know that was a possibility that they could do fire arrows. Shoot. Get get on the wall. Get get on the wall. Get everyone on the wall. I didn't know that was a possibility, guys. Don't, don't blame me if they actually... Shoot! Shoot! Did not know this was a possibility. Why isn't this... Oh yeah, they're in shield wall still. Get out of it quickly. We're going to We're going to defend this. Okay, they're obviously firing lots and lots of stuff. Oh my goodness. Now this might actually be a fight. Now I can see how this could be a fight, guys. I did not know those guys could do that. But still they're attacking me directly on the wall. Get damaged. It's still not gonna be enough. I don't Holy shoot. Now our gates are utterly destroyed. That's good. Luckily our men are moving as quickly as possible to protect this area. I mean, I just have to get into good strategic walls before these guys get into position. Uh, most of my men that are javelin throwers are dead. In the square formation right there. And then you guys get this stuff. Let's go formation right there. Okay, mob. You guys get right here as quickly as possible. Yes! Okay. And now, this is going to be a tight knit formation. Oh, shoot! General! General, quickly run! Okay. And right now, these guys are trying to break three. Three. My general is moving towards this position. Uh, moving my javelins to this position. Um, what are they? What are they doing? Oh no! It's this glitch, really? Oh no! Oh gosh! This is so stupid. So basically, right now, what they're doing, guys, is they're just trying to charge through my lines. Oh no! And it's not gonna work. My lines are. If I must be honest with you, they're basically impenetrable. Like, oh no. Oh no. I have my mob right here making sure that we keep them all bottled next. Oh no. I mean, we're pushing we're pushing them back. 
pretty much. I want to make sure my general also stays a little bit back because I don't want to make sure he gets killed. But oh no. Oh no. Okay, we got these guys over here to make sure we keep them all bottlenecked. Okay, let's see. Let's use some um, Inspire. Let's use some um, Second Wind. And let's use some War Cries. Oh, I can only use one? Okay, let's use Inspire. Okay, so Inspire would be very helpful right about now. Yeah, they're <laughs> trying to push through. I can see it. They're trying. But they're not doing too good. Okay. Luckily, my battles are going pretty good right now. I think most of the men are now inside. So if we could just hold our position right here. I mean, we have a pretty effective chokehold going right now. Pretty dang effective. I mean, holy shoot, lots of these guys are routing. Most, oh man, we just, I mean, we may have just run a pirate victory because of stupid AI. Stupid AI. Oh, this is the one advantage I have against them is the fact that I'm smarter than them on the battlefield. <laughs> Which isn't actually that good because I'm not that smart. But yeah, they're starting to break much more. My men are keeping the pressure. Uh, my guys, yeah, we kept the pressure going. They're trying to charge in still, but my archers are just like blowing them back. I mean, let's get some close up gore, guys. Ah, yes. Close up gore. Okay, and then you guys are here. Yeah, I think, honestly, the new formation of um, Square is, I honestly think, the most powerful formation in this game. Okay, and then all these guys are just trying their best. They are really trying their best to try to break through my lines, but they just lost. Oh, great, there's one enemy unit over here, though. Oh, this slingers. Nothing to worry about. Just gonna go send my horsemen to go casually kill these guys. I should just wait right here. So I don't want to be fired upon. Yeah, just just wait right here. I don't want to be fired upon. But I'm gonna use my own horsemen to go kill these guys. We just have to wait a little bit. Let's fast forward a little bit. So yeah, I'm just gonna make sure I'm out of range of those guys. Yes, so they're gonna try to do some slinging attacks on me. These guys are still trying to break through my lines. You guys are why? What the heck are you guys doing? Like seriously? What the heck are you guys doing? I asked you guys to keep attack. Okay, now they're trying to kill my general. That's kind of a. That's kind of annoying. Go fire on these guys. Go kill those slingers. That's just flatly annoying. Okay. We're keeping, we're keeping all these guys down. We just have to make sure we just keep longer attacks onto them. Um, and make sure we don't die. That's basically the rules of combat right now. I'm going to get my general back into here. Okay, and now it's just going to become a big gigantic javelin fight because these guys are too, too chicken to actually fight me. Okay, and now these guys are almost all dead. Just give it a little bit more and these guys are almost all going to run for the hills. We almost have them all running for the hills. We just have a couple more units left. They're all kind of trying to fight me inside the walls, but as you know, it's a very ineffective fight. Okay, come on, guys. Okay, you guys. Just a couple more men. I'm not going to go charge up my general just yet. It's almost time. But, okay, maybe now it is, because it mostly seems like they're using slingers. Okay, so let's get you guys to here out of... I can't get you guys out of square formation. What am I doing? Okay, but it seems like, yeah, my 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 soldiers are now pushing up. Yeah, these are mostly Iberian slingers. Okay, you guys kill off. Yeah, kill off everyone in that boat. Seriously. Okay, yeah, they're retreating. Yep. Yeah, I won. I won, everyone. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is what I call victory. I'll see you guys in a second when I get back to the battlefield. I meant battle map, not battlefield. By any stretch of the imagination, we should not have just won that. By any stretch of the imagination, we should not have just won that. And again, I, as you guys know, I do not believe in the slave thing. So, just kill them. Gosh. That is so terrible. That is just so terrible. I just won and destroyed all their men. Oh, and it seems like my vassals are starting to push back a little bit. That's good. 
That is seriously a good sign. Because we have had major bad luck with that recently. Hmm. I'm finally glad you guys are starting to get back your land and starting to push back. Because that was getting kind of annoying, guys. Uh. But yeah, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's just hilarious. Just hilarious. I mean, we just destroyed a massive amount of them. I mean, it wasn't even hard. They just like, boom, dead. Oh my goodness. And now they're going to have to retreat because that was just a devastating loss right there. Research complete. Villager increased rank. Oh my goodness. This is all going great now, guys. But I'm going to have to end the video here. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.